Our sales incentive should be 5% of our total sales. Wouldn't it be great if you could plan like that and have the associated nominals update as well? We know that it's difficult to set up in for instance Excel to plan both on percentages and nominals at the same time. However, SAC planning has the perfect solution called inverse planning. In this video, we want to show you how to set up percentage planning in SAC planning. Hi, my name is Joris Tuin and I'm a specialized SAC planning developer at McCoy. Today I want to show you how planning with percentages and nominals in SAC planning looks like, officially called inverse planning. We believe the best way to show you how powerful this feature is, is to show you in a demo. First, I will show you how it actually works from a planning perspective, show you the magic. After that, we dive into the backend and show you how surprisingly simple it is to set up. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. So, we want to plan the percentages and the associated nominals or values at the same time. To show you that, we will do five ways of input. After that, we show you the story setup. So there's five ways. We will do percentage on a monthly level, on a quarterly level, we will change the sales values, the incentive nominals, and start from a clean slate. Okay, so let's do some input now. First, we will enter here 10% on a monthly level. As you can see, it takes some time to process, but now the sales incentives have changed. So they're now 100K, which is indeed 10% of 1 million. And we can also do a change on a monthly level, which we do now. So let's say we change this value also to 10%. Now you notice two things. First, it will distribute it according to the weights that were already there. And of course, it will distribute. That's also very important. So you, do, can, you can do it on quarter and you could do it monthly. You can do it on yearly. That's all fine. Now, what if the sales change or you uh, change those? That's also fine. Let's see what happens then. So we change the sales to 2 million. Now you see the sales incentives percentage changes and not the nominal, which is important because um, otherwise it would be too dynamic. If your sales change constantly, um, you have the risk that your incentives keep changing as well. And the percentage account is supportive in this scenario. Now, we can also, of course, still change the nominals themselves if for whatever reason that, that is required. So here I change the monthly level again. So here you see all three are possible and they all work together seamlessly. Now, looking from a clean slate perspective, what if we clean everything and then start inputting? So here I clean everything, put input 10%. As you can see, it pushes the value up, so it calculates 4,400k, and then yeah, distributes it again over the months. But because there's no values there, it's evenly distributed. Yeah, and so you can do all kinds of changes. You can, uh, as you can see now, you can change the incentives, and it all works together, and it's very snappy, uh, as you can see. That's basically the power of, uh, of, of what you can do here. Now, let's shortly look at the table setup, mainly to show that there's nothing special required here. So we go into the edit mode. We go to the designer. And as you can see here, it's just a regular table widget with some dimensions in the rows, some dimensions in the columns, and some filters. So really nothing special. So, before we go to the model, let's quickly look at what's really important here, which are, which are the accounts. So we have three accounts in this case. We have sales, we have sales incentives, and we have sales incentives as a percentage of sales. Now the first two is nothing special about, but the third one is actually a formula, and that, that's the one we need to set up now. So hopefully you are blown away by how easy and fast or snappy this works. Now, in my opinion, the interesting part comes, namely the backend setup. Not interesting because I can now impress you with all my skills, but rather by how easy it is. This will all be done in the model. To not spend too much time on the model setup, I will shortly summarize. It is a new model with one measure called local currency, and most importantly, has the account dimension in it. Let's look how to set up the account formula to allow the percentage planning. 
So here we are in our model in the account donation. And this is the formula I was talking about. So as you can see, it has an account type of NFIN and the scale set to percent in decimal places one, which is optional. Now also here the formula, which I was talking about. But we can clear that and we can set it up ourselves on the fly. So let's open up a formula editor. So we want to calculate our sales incentives as a percentage of total sales. So we can just start typing by sales. So it can just be regular language. And we can select it here. And we want to divide this with sales. So we do divide by, type sales again, and select that one. Now, this, this is already functional. It will give you results. However, it's not planable. So to make it planable, we now do space and we do a straight bar. So we do the straight bar. We do space again, and then control space, so you get uh, syntax suggestions. So, you see four options here, but the one we need is already there. So in this case, what are we trying to calculate? Um, so we want like the opposite of the percentage. So we want the incentives nominals to be uh, calculated. That's the inverse function we need to set up. So in this case, that's this option. And yeah, that's basically it. So it's as simple as that. We hope this demo has shown you how quickly and easy you're able to set up percentage planning or inverse planning. Let me reiterate one last time how easy it is to set up and that all the used objects and functionalities are straight out of the SAC planning toolbox. Please refer to our blog about this topic as well, which you can find on our website or in the link in the description. I hope you liked this video. Please let us know your thoughts or feedback in the comments.